Kitty uh, Jimenez was people calling her to be a man, and she's not a man. I know her daughter. I have known her for many years, and it's completely out of respect to call someone uh, who is gay to call her that she's a man and say all these things that they said about her. Anyway, uh, I feel proud and I stand tall, and I'm, I'm just uh, facts prove everything that uh, I have done, and I have so many friends in every single race and religion. So yeah. that's absolutely. Why did it take so long to reinstate Franchine Cruz? Because because you literally jumped out the window. Because I remember, I remember, I was like, I go live, Marisa. I'm looking at, the, I'm look. I don't know if it's a man or a woman now. I'm being respectful. I'm being honest. I'm looking at her and I'm hearing her talk. I'm like, she's taking steroids. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, and I'm just an ordinary guy. I've never even taken a Tylenol in my life, Mauricio. And I'm like, never smoked weed, never drank. And I'm like. It's something fishy about her. You understand? Then you jumped out the window. She, she, she's gay. She's yeah. gay. Yeah, yeah gay. And, and, she, and she was born, uh, and she she has a girl baby, mm -hmm. and she's gay. And, and, and she, ended up she, she, she was a heavyweight uh -huh. and came down and lost a lot of weight uh -huh. and changed her, her life around. Uh -huh. And why it took so long? Because... There is a process that you have to do whenever there's a doping violation. Okay. The Povetkin case took over a year. I mean, we have been consistent. We put Jimenez in champion in recess. We immediately uh, withdrew recognition until the investigation happened. Mm. So uh, I think uh, uh, it's been completely missed viewed because if you only see one side and you stick to that side and you don't yeah. have the open mind to look at what really is happening that's when you get uh, to wrong conclusions and 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 you could be right uh it's, it's it's the only thing is i read a i read a i read a letter that had a wbc letterhead on it as it pertains to uh jimenez and i'm like this long letter i'm like that was that was and then she ended up popping you know what I mean? And 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 now it goes into the effect of the effects of Franchon Cruz's career. Like, what are the no, what... no, no, Franchon, she she could have been active and uh mm -hmm. she just didn't fight, and the, the pandemic has gotten in the way. Mm -hmm. But uh the the WC in no way stopped franchise from, from anything. Yeah, the letter that you're referring to mm -hmm. was the day after the fight when she was labeled of all accusations that she was a man. That's when I defended her. When the thing of the doping came, we made all, we did all the investigations as we do in every single process. And I mean, I, I, I simply I feel offended by not looking into the whole picture uh -huh. because if you kill a man, if you yes. shoot someone, yes, you go through a process. okay, and you go and you are uh, you go to a jury and you're found guilty or innocent. Any offense goes, you have the opportunity to defend yourself. And this is what happens in doping violations. You cannot just simply go and uh, without doing the investigation, without doing the process, reach a conclusion that would be completely uh, against the, the humanity and the human, uh, how do you call that? Human resource, uh, human, uh, right, human yeah. rights, human rights. Human rights, okay. Uh, H Money, you ready? All right, H Money, you up? 